Another evening and another video. I'm gonna talk to you about these binoculars. So if you've seen some of my other videos, I'm getting more interested in astronomy, but one of the things that can sometimes be a bit of a pain, especially in this country with the weather we're having recently, is a drag of the telescope and everything out there just because I want to have a good look at the moon or something and then it's all uncloudy again and the opportunity is missed and also where I live quite fortunate there's quite a few fields around and there's all sorts of wildlife in there and so I decided I would pick up some binoculars and I picked up these Calvary um, 15 by 70 binoculars by Celestron they were in the Amazon warehouse sale so I got quite a good deal they are very similar um, to the Celestron Skymaster Pro. So if you're interested in those binoculars, there's some um, good similarities between the two. These were slightly cheaper. And I think really the main difference is those Skymaster Pros, um, they're black, they look a bit sleeker, um, and they also have an adapter in the middle so that you can attach uh, a red dot finder if you want. Um, which may or may not be advantageous. These look a little bit military-esque, but I thought I would kind of show you what they're like, a couple of the reasons why I went with them aside from the price, and show a couple of shots of, of what it looks like when I'm looking at the moon and other things so you can make some informed decisions. So I've already opened them and used them a little bit, but I've packed it all back up pretty much how I remember it coming. So uh, just kind of do a, a brief unboxing and talk a little bit about the specifications and everything. So in the box, usual things, get a manual, a reasonable amount of padding in here, get a neck strap. You also get this um, tripod adapter, which is pretty good. So you can attach this um, to your tripod and then you remove a little cap on there, which I'll show you in a moment, and you kind of just screw this on. So that's really good if you're kind of doing some sustained viewing over a long period of time, you want extra stability. Just attach that to the tripod and away you go. Yeah, and that's pretty much everything. Let me just double check. Yep. So that's the contents of the box. Which just pop over there for now. As you can see, it comes in this pretty decent carry case it's not like super tough or durable but definitely will do the job to kind of protect things and keep it all nice then when we open this up little cleaning cloth in there as well as you can see it comes in a protective bag and then we have like this singular uh, eyepiece and padded protector. This just comes on and off. It's like a flexible rubbery um, material. So it just pops on and off. Uh, and obviously, or just falls off in that case. Uh, and then on the other end, you've got the larger um, end covers. As mentioned before, this little piece at the front comes off. This is not coming off very well right now. And that reveals the thread that you can then connect the tripod adapter to. So again, it all fits together nicely and it's it's robust in the fact that it's screw fit, it's not just gonna kind of fall off the edge, which is really nice. Then um, a couple of other things, uh, I guess features that perhaps not everyone is always familiar with. On the right eyepiece, and hopefully we, we kind of do some zoomed in footage, there's a little white dot um, with a zero and then a plus and a minus on it. Um, and that's basically your diopter settings. Quite a few binoculars have this, but I don't think many people, especially that's new to binoculars, really understand what that means and kind of how things work. So 
basically you have this diopter setting, typically like I said on the right eye, and then in the middle you have the, the kind of focus barrel. And basically what you want to do to start off with is, let's pretend we're doing this for real now, take obviously all the eyepiece covers off, offer them up and kind of adjust it to what looks good for your eyes in terms of, you know, depending on how far apart your eyes are. So that's the IPD setting into pupillary distance or, or something. Uh, these binoculars have a range between 56 millimeters to 72 millimeters. So pretty kind of common. Then what you're gonna wanna do is put one of the eyepiece covers on the right eye. It's important that you're keeping both your eyes open when you're setting up the diopter settings. Again, focus on a object that's kind of uh, middle distance away. Offer this up and then adjust the middle uh, focus ring until you get um, what you're looking for into focus. Again, important you keep both those eyes open. Once that's done, it means that obviously the uh, the visuals are now focused to your left eye. Take this off, pop it onto the, loft, the left lens cap. Again, both eyes open. And then this time you're gonna change the diopter setting on the right eye. So basically by turning this setting here. And once you've locked that in, you should be good to go. So this basically means the, the, the focus variation uh, between the eyepieces is calibrated to your eyes so in general then when you're looking around and then just focusing with the center ring the diopter adjustment should be accommodating um, the strength of each of your eyes to get um, some good viewing so as mentioned these are 15 by 70 so a really large uh, 70 millimeter diameter uh, eyepiece or lens on the end, sorry, the eyepiece has to be on the other end um, with 15 times magnification. So it does have a you know, good level of mag magnification, but that kind of large ability to take a lot of light in. All of these, I think in general, uh, are waterproof. So it's like a, a rugged, rubberized cover. So everything's waterproof. So if you're using it in the rain or perhaps you know in water on a boat or whatever everything's going to be really good it's got a pretty decent uh, field of view so 4.7 degrees field of view as with um, most of Celestron's products everything is nitrogen purged so you shouldn't have any fogginess or any buildup like that occurring um, all of the the lenses are coated with um, Celestron's proprietary coating, I think it's called XLR or something. I uh, can't remember 100%. Um, but yes, yeah, so you really do get some good imagery, especially in low light. Um, it does a, a really fantastic job of really kind of, you know, putting in the light to make it really clear and visible. Um, so hopefully, as you can see, if I put a couple of overlays in, really good um, bright coverage of the moon. And then when I'm kind of looking across the field, trying to look for deer or what have you, this, this just works really, really well. So, so far, I've been really happy with them. They come with a, a lifetime warranty. So I guess in the event that somehow they naturally um, start to fog up or something, you can obviously contact um, the restaurant to get them changed out or do something. but. They're a good weight, they're not too heavy. Um, I'm really happy so far. I've only used them a, a few times. The only thing that I have found that's not a, a mega issue is obviously there's a good level of eye relief um, on the eye pieces, but they do tend to, uh, I guess, misshape a little bit whilst they're in the bag. So depending where you're storing it, it, it kind of can make it feel a little uncomfortable um, on the eyes and again not a massive deal like it is with a telescope but I do find it does let some light in on the side so depending on what I'm trying to do you can see light in from either sides 
I think um, the Skymaster Pros have the option to have different eye reliefs that kind of have some side uh, coverage. So again, that might be something to worth considering and checking out. But I think these are a good price. Even full price, I think they're good. Um, personally, I don't know why you'd want to get the Skymasters Pros over these unless you really you know, don't like this colour or, or whatever it might be, but I'm really happy with them. Um, and I think, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm a really big fan of my Celestron telescope, but sometimes, you know, I don't want to get around to lugging all that out and setting the tripod up. I just want to have a quick little look. And if I'm looking at, you know, the moon or something, obviously this is, yeah, binoculars aren't designed for deep space viewing or anything like that, but it's good to just have a little viewing um, and kind of just seeing, you know, what things are going to be like before perhaps you get the massive telescope out or if you're going, you know, out in the countryside, taking those with you in the handy carry-on bag to have a little look at the wildlife around, do some bird spotting. So I hope that was kind of helpful. Um, I don't think binoculars is everyone's thing. Uh, I didn't necessarily think it's any my thing, uh, but I'm really happy uh, with the research I did and picking these up. Uh, it's been a satisfactory purchase. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter? And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest? Thanks again for watching.